Howdy, howdy. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna take this one gallon jar and we're gonna turn it into a 100% sealed biosphere. Here's what we'll need. I'll also link it in the description. We'll start by creating a false bottom using some red lava rocks. I went with red lava rocks for aesthetics, and I went with lava rocks because they're porous and lightweight. Next, I layered it with some smaller black lava rock, which will be a nice contrast to the red. It was time to build the water feature consisting of some slate. And this is always my favorite part. This is when you really start to get an idea for where you're gonna put everything and just the overall layout of how this biodome is gonna look. After plenty of tinkering, I took a photo so I could remember how I had arranged the rocks. And then I took them right back out. For the bottom of the water feature, I decided to use some river rock. And I actually did get these rocks out of an actual river near me. I took the hot glue gun to the slate and did my best to rebuild that rock formation the same way as I had it before. The seams were showing some hot glue gun, and so I covered it using some dust from the crushed up lava rock. Water feature was almost done, just had a little tidying up to do. Oi, get out of there, you little bugger. There you go. Next, I took some basic aquarium gravel and I went ahead and layered that to complete the false bottom. being very careful not to spill any into the middle section where the water will go. I also took a couple pieces of cork bark. This is gonna be primarily for the isopods that will live in here. Place those kind of randomly. I also gathered up the plants that we were gonna be using. It's primarily gonna consist of trimmings from my polydarium, which as you can see was getting pretty overgrown. The Rex begonia specifically was completely wilding out and killing off the sunlight to the rest of the polydarium. So I went ahead and trimmed that up and then I went to work to find some suitable plants for our little biosphere. First up was a healthy helping of some moss.
I also took the tip off this little guy. I'd actually done this Experian previously and transplanted one to the top of my polydarium and it looks really good up there. So we're definitely gonna put that in our biosphere. My creeping fig, true to its name, had crept along the top of my tank and was starting to sprout out across the front of it to where I couldn't even look in anymore. So I went ahead and trimmed some of that and we're definitely gonna use this for the biosphere. It's actually great at shedding leaves, which will be good because that will help cycle the tank and feed the microfauna. I tried not to disturb the neighborhood too much, but some nosy neighbors did poke out, take a peek and see what was going on. I also took a quick detour at my fish tank polydarium so we could grab some aquatic plants for our little pond section. as well as another flavor of moss. We had the plants, but we still needed some life for our biosphere. I popped open the lid to my bioactive soil colony consisting of purple dwarf isopods as well as springtails. I went ahead and scooped out a little of that. These guys are gonna be what keeps the tank healthy. They'll eat any of the dead, decaying leaf and plant matter, recycle it, and then in turn create fertilizer for the plants, and it'll be a never-ending cycle. I sprinkled some aquarium safe fertilizer on top of that. We also needed some supplements as well as some protein for the microfauna to really give them that boost and a great start. I used Josh's Frog's Dart Frog substrate to fill in the rest of the soil portion of this, which is also what that uh, bioactive soil was originally before it was microfauna added. I also placed a carrot stick into the back of the biosphere. The carrot is going to take some time to break down and it'll be a great food source for the isopods for a few weeks actually. Next I started to add some moss as well as the aquatic plant life. I went ahead and held that down with a little bit more of the black lava rock. I gave them a quick misting to keep them nice and fresh. I took the sphagnum moss and soaked it in some distilled water. It was time to start planting. I hollowed out a little space where the main plant feature was going to go. Went ahead and scooped it on in there. I tucked that in with some wet sphagnum moss and also some more fertilizer. I just went ahead and layered it on kind of thick. I also broke off a piece of cuttlefish bone. The calcium will be a slow release for the isopods and is going to be crucial for them to survive. It was all starting to come together. The creeping fig went in next.
carrot for the aquatic snails, as well as some water for them.